So we're gonna start with our standard two by two. But we're gonna start with one more two more triangles on the side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this and then cover it like that. Like this. Um like that. So this one's a little bit particular. You have to put a doorway like this and then put a TC on the far left side of it. Far left side. You don't have to add a door. You can add a door if you want, but I don't really like adding doors. And then you just place this as close as possible here. And then you should be able to loot it. It's a little bit, it's a little bit difficult. Okay, there we go. So you can loot the TC from the from the outside like this and there's gonna be another one this one is pretty easy to do you just place the okay you, you place this first and then you place the vending machine as far back as possible let's do that real quick and then you just place another uh, vending machine after that and then uh if you turn this one around place a large furnace inside you can see that you can loot the other vending machine as well this is really good because if someone raids from this side right they're gonna break these two walls and then they're gonna see this and they're not gonna actually be able to go through so they have to break this vending machine this vending machine um and if they do break the vending machine then the loot inside disappears so yeah and this one you can have a lot more storage you just place um like boxes here, like the four box loot room. I'm not gonna show that right now, but you can do four box loot room and then you can uh, add something from the outside up here, place boxes up there, put sleeping bags down, put small furnaces down so that you can actually go up. And then from here, add another door. This is gonna be, you can add these vending machines later but you, you want to place a TC first that way, for sure. So we're gonna... Let's put the honeycombing right now. I'll put the honeycombing first. But, here's one thing. You gotta put... Before you place the honeycombing here, you wanna have another uh, loot room, right? And this one will be uh, opening this one, and then this one will be opening this one. So you actually want to place a wall frame here. And let's actually do the trick part. So you're gonna put basically six triangles. So if you count, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. Stemming from this uh, square right here. Place a square right here and then destroy everything else. So we're doing the, the pixel gaps right now. So we can do the stability bunker. And this one, you, you kind of have to move around your mouse. And once the the right foundation, like this this one's sticking out right here, you don't want that. And if you look with your hammer, uh, it's actually moving upwards. You don't want that. Once you see that it's moving uh, straight from right to left, that means it's good. You're able to upgrade it. Foundation, same thing. Six times. And then go all the way back. This is the game lights bunker. No, I messed up. Hopefully this will work. Okay, three, four, five, six. Right here. Upgrade that. Replace this foundation. And now you just place a floor here. And then you triangle frame here. And now you're able to place this. Once it's 10% st stability, then you're good to go. So if you put a roof here, it's actually gonna open. And later on, you wanna upgrade this to high qual and high qual, right? Just in case people get in. And you wanna do the same thing on this side. So this one has two bunkers. The reason why we have two bunkers, I feel like a lot of people offline raid and you want to make it as hard as possible for raiders to get your loot, right? Especially if they don't put any risk to it. Okay. 
So this one is going right to left. That's good. To upgrade. Two, three, four, five, six. Go all the way back. In here. Two half walls. Upgrade that. Replace the foundation. From here, you're just gonna put this. Same thing. Check that you can place this. It's 10% stability. You're good to go. And if you place the roof here, it opens up. So this is kind of nice because there's two bunkers on each side. So there's no way someone can splash both this bunker and that bunker at the same time. That's why I like to have two bunkers here. And then you would make this high call, obviously. And you can make this whole thing high call. I mean, you definitely don't want to do this unless you're rich. But yeah, realistically, you want to do this later on. You want to upgrade this too, I guess. Yeah, and then when you log off, you just make it high call. You just make this high call. You make this high call as well. If you really want to make this super strong, you can make this high call too. But I wouldn't really do it. I usually don't. That's a lot of high call already. Like if you go to resources, that's 300 high call, right? This is only if you if you've done a lot of like farming and you have a lot of high qual, maybe you do an excavator or something. So from here, what are we going to do now? We need this part for sure. And we need this part for sure. And we need these two triangle foundations. That's one floor higher so that we can actually have space for us to put the roof and also the half wall here. So from here, we're actually going to work on the, uh, the outer TCs. So from this side and that side, we're going to go one triangle and then we're going to go eight triangles out. Actually, seven triangles out. Four. Oh, sorry. Squares. Four, five, six, seven. And then put a triangle as a placeholder. Come back. And once you do four full like half moons, you should be able to come back here and you will have a miniature gap right here. So from here, I'm gonna do that. And this is gonna be, be the way in. And honestly, this is just a placeholder. If you want a more uh, defendable, or if you want to expand the gatehouse a little bit, you can do a different design. I just do this because it's the easiest to do. But you can you can even do something like this. Um, a lot of a lot of a lot of groups do this this thing here this thing here so that you can actually like you know defend from this you can put even uh, a bedroom here with like a window here maybe it's really up to you I'm just gonna do this for now uh, do the same thing on the other side two three four five six seven The reason why I'm showing this is because there's a lot of bases like this and there's a lot of bases like this that I built, but I think this is the most optimized. It, it fits the most building, like not exploits, but tactics. And I think this is why it's small enough for people to be like, yo, we can raid this, but it's also compact enough and has all the things you need for a successful online raid defense. It has bedrooms, it has uh, peak downs, it has like multiple TCs, it has two bunkers. So from here, you're gonna you're gonna go out one, two, three, four. And then place another TC here. Actually, we don't need to do this. I think it's okay to make everything stone now. And we do the dis disconnectable TCs here because if you get raided and someone destroys your main TC, which is kind of unlikely unless they blow from that side. Unless they blow from this side. But it's going to have um, honeycombing. So we really want to protect uh, our main TC, right? That's why we have, instead of the white peaks, we have the very, like, uh, very narrow peaks right here. 
so that we can actually cover the cover the main PC so that it has one high qual and one metal honeycomb. Let's do it on this side as well. Two, three, four. Another TC. I think the coolest part about this is the, the peak downs that I saw. So yeah, but basically now there's going to be... You want to make this high qual before you add that part, obviously. Because you can't upgrade it once you put this part. So it's going to be high qual and then metal. And then from here, you want to upgrade these as well. Let's make everything metal. Like this. So sometimes you're not able to place this. What you need to do is just place this triangle foundation and then you're going to be able to place the square foundation here. Now you just add the honeycombing. You might do the order of these uh, upgrades a little bit differently on a vanilla server, but this is basically what you need to do for the first floor. There's actually a lot of annoying loot rooms that you can do in this space. One of them being, so this is where you open the, the bunker, right? One of them <laughs> that you can do that's really annoying is you can put a triangle floor here. And instead of the wall frame here, you place, you place this. But before you place this, you want to get a vending machine and two boxes. Put two boxes on each side like this. And then fit the vending machine as close as possible. Well, actually, it's the vending machine first. Oops. So on the on the corner of this, place the vending machine. Place the two boxes. Put the doorway. Rotate. And there you go. You have a base that you can't really get through. Or you have a doorway you can't really get through from the outside unless you destroy this vending machine and this. And you have more storage here. You can actually access the large boxes as well. And you're able to place a roof still to open up this bunker. Okay, well, that broke. That sometimes happens. That's the downfall of this uh, base design. So unless you're like, <laughs> unless you have a lot of high qual and gears, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really do this. You might see me not build this a lot. Price precisely because of this exact reason. The stability in this game, the the building is so messed up in this game that you can place something like this and then it's going to destroy something that's not even close. I, I don't know. So you don't want to place anything good inside here unless you place all the building blocks on your base already. Then you can start placing stuff because like sometimes you can place this thing here, this thing here, this thing here and it's going to break the vending machine. I don't know how it works. So I want to use this until you know your base is done. Sometimes it's kind of hard to place the, the roof, but just know that it's possible. So you can do that on the other side, or uh, if you don't really care, you can just put boxes like this. Like that. And have like a, like a loot room here, I guess. Really up to you. I prefer that one if possible, but up to you. So yeah, how do we how do we expand this now? We're gonna put this here on this side as well, just like the other side. Um, these ones I'll just upgrade the stone. Like it's not that important. A lot of the stuff after this part you can actually upgrade to stone. It doesn't really matter. I like to leave the outside of my base stone because it looks the most raidable. I don't know, man. Like, people are just so scared of raiding nowadays. They just won't raid anything that's metal. So we have this part. So how do we get up here? How do we get up? We're actually going to have... It's, it's really dependent on whether or not you want to protect the front side or pr protect your core from the roof. So if you made the roof here, right? And this is the way up. 
it's only one more door until core. So I like to put the front entrance right here, personally, and then have like another loot room here, maybe. Yeah, that's that's a lot better, in my opinion. And actually have the way up here so that there's one more door, one more door, and then it's the core. And then for this one, you can do more loot rooms like this. Um, this is the way up, right? So with this, your second floor is done, basically. Uh, you can either put this like this way or like this way. It's really up to you. I think putting it separately from your core is probably best. So I think putting a wall in between this probably the best right here. And then you can place uh, more wall frames if you want. All right, so that's done. What is the third floor? The third floor is just going to be more storage. So you just add more walls. And I just like to put just the way up again. I like putting bedrooms up here or extra storage. If I get too loaded and I just like to alternate the walls here, place this, let's make this metal. So already the base is not that expensive in my opinion. Uh, if you minus the high qual, you don't have to make this high qual. It's 30k stone, 30k metal, and with 20k more metal, you can probably finish this base, or maybe like 25k more stone. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make the peak downs now on the third floor. If you want, you can make one more floor up. If you want your white peak downs to be on the fourth floor or the fifth floor instead. But this is very important. This is the new peak downs, okay? So on this part is very simple. You just place this square right here. And then from here, this is going to be the fireman shoots. It's actually perfect because this is actually two walls. Um, Cause this one is uh, one floor higher and our, this thing is also going to be on this floor. So from here to there is actually two floors. So it's actually perfect. The only problem is uh, people might be able to build onto your base like like this with twig if you don't like that then you can place like a half wall here but i don't really care to be honest i'll have turrets to deal with the grubs but if you don't like that you can make uh this half wall and then it's all the way up so this one will be this floor frame frames all around and it's going to be here this is a standard, you can like sit here, look at the landscape or look down and in the middle, you can actually go into your compound right away. Okay, so we do that on the other side as well. Very simple. Here. And I like this design because it's just so simple to make and you can make it in any base, I guess. So this one, I've never seen anyone do this. So we got to add this part, these two square uh, frames, but it's got to be on the inner one. So it's got to go in the inner one. And then the floor triangle is actually going to be on the outer one. So that's how we're able to stack this. So if you do this, you actually can't go through. 
But you got to be careful here, though, because if you upgrade this to metal, the hitbox changes and you're actually able to go down. So honestly, like a five head thing you can do is like, oh, shit, I need to get down real quick. But then you'll never able to be able to use this again unless you use like siren lights here. So I'll just leave the stone. Yeah, I'll just leave the stone personally. On this side as well. I actually don't like putting anything here. Yeah, you can do something like that, but I wouldn't really do it. I don't want to make the space uh, any bigger than it's supposed to be. One cool thing that you can do with this base though. So all the windows are going to be on the corner. So it's going to be three windows on each corner like this. And everything else will be covered. So like this one. And then this might be... I might put a window there. There. Here. Window there. But you could... You could just do this. But I think it's really cool if you put two wall frames here and then did this instead now that's cool because if you do this right like that or something now you're able to make a a bedroom here that you can spawn in and we want to place the the wall frame outside on this one precisely because you can actually from your bedroom look through this gap and shoot at people and just like the amount of space that you get just for just by adding this is insane because instead of just looking uh through this peak down from here you're able to go on a completely different side and get different angles on the base obviously you probably want to make this metal later it's up to you though Okay, like that. If you want, you, you don't have to put a window here. Like, I wouldn't put a window here, to be honest. If it's going to be a bedroom. Oops. Only thing is stability is kind of whack. So, from here, you want to... Add more bedrooms for the inside, like this. Have two ways out towards your shooting floor. And then have another way up. Like that. As you can see, it's actually not expensive at all to build this base. That's what I, what I wanted to achieve with this. 13k metal. And let's just say that uh, the inside of this base is not high qual. Like, obviously you would make it high qual like later on in the wipe, but you don't have to. But two boxes of stone and this base is done, basically. As for the roof, I will probably just... I always like to add this two parts right here. Because I could, I could very well just put a roof right here and call it a day. But the reason why I'll show you, I'll show you the reason why I like to leave that space open. Let me finish the the rest of the base first. Though. Actually, this part we want to put roof triangles. That way, it connects all of it. So the roofing is done. The reason why I like to put this here is because probably I will make um, like a heli heli garage here and I want that extra space on on the sides for me to land the minicopter and actually like put it in I used to put the vending machines on this thing here but a lot of people what they did was they just raided my heli garage took my heli and they also took my vending machine so uh, a thing that I like to do now is I like to put a wall here, make it metal. And then uh, here I like to put two vending machines facing the wall. So you can't actually uh, loot them at all. But the only way to loot them is put a roof. And now I'm able to loot both of them. 
So they have to use eight rockets for me for them to get the, the vending machine stuff. And only people with building access can open it. And then I'll probably just put like... Like here and then put the... Put whatever I need for the windmills on this these two sides. But that's pretty much it. You just put... Uh, if you want to put a compound, there's actually a very convenient spot to place all the furnaces. You can place one really close here to the side. And if you want, you can place it on one, all, all sides, but I like to put it on all four corners. Granted that I have turrets to protect all of them. This is like a pretty good spot. Uh, if you want to make your compound super compact, you want to make the large furnace as close as possible, right? So these are pretty good spots. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of walls to cover this whole thing as well. You want to start with the uh, gatehouse first, so you know that you can fit. It's just very satisfying, the space design. Like, everything just fits, you know? And then you just get metal barricades, and then place it right... But the problem is, people might build onto this thing. And like, just jump in. But that's something that you can circumvent by like putting siren lights everywhere. So that they can, people can't build. Put it like here as well, or like here. Then you can't place anything. People can ladder in though. That's the only uh, down downfall of this. People can ladder in, and people can just ladder from here. People will just ladder up here, ladder up to your roof, basically. That's kind of annoying. So if you wanna, what you could do is put this TC back a little bit more, and then place like another, another compound on this side and then just do like a actual stone wall or something so you can have two layers of, of walls that's something you can do or if you don't like this at all then you actually don't even need this you can just remove this and then just put a wall here instead then you don't have that problem but I actually really like this I would rather have uh, uh, access to these peaks I guess the con is people can ladder up but I like this. I like this a lot. It's super sneaky. Like, who the hell would predict that you're gonna get shot from like here? Like, can you even tell that you're gonna be shot from like that little gap right there? Like, if someone shot me from that gap, I would never expect it. I would, I would expect it from like here, or like here, or like these big ones, or th this window maybe. But I would never expect it from that gap. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Under 60k stone, 14k metal. High quality you can make into metal. It's super cheap to make. 